Greetings subscribers and the curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is what are some middle grade series you would like to see get a young adult sequel? Well, when I was young enough to be frequenting the children's section, that's what there was. The children's section and the rest of the library. And the picture books were noticeable as being picture books. And there were a shelf containing books with less shiny bright covers that if you took them out, the librarian might suggest you went for something else. Or if you were with your parents, they might suggest you went for something else instead. But there wasn't this division. So it took me a bit of racking my brains to get a hold on what these labels actually were, what middle grade equated to in terms of my experience. And I can't think of anything modern, by which I mean written in the last 20 years, that I've read that's middle grade. The closest I've got is some of the less gritty young adult aimed at the lower end of the bracket. But it did occur to me the Famous Five and other Enid Blyton series potentially are. So, but I enjoyed those when uh, I was young. And so, young adult versions of those might be interesting to read. A Famous Five in which they head out together, not necessarily on their last great holiday adventure together but with adulthood looming and instead of the naive joy of childhood that oh look it's a group of men in this abandoned tin mine let's go and talk to them there's that going to talk to strangers might not be whilst it is possibly the quickest way to find out information, the safest way to investigate things. That things are happening, pulling them apart. Now, I don't like young adult for the strong relationship focus, but I understand that the young adult market generally wants relationships to be at the center of it so there would be relationship tensions between the characters relationship tensions tearing things apart kind of like the uh, updated theories on scooby-doo uh, some of the scooby-doos daphne and fred are actively in a relationship as opposed to it just being a thing and there is allegedly a tension because Velma and Shaggy dated for a bit. So that sort of thing where you've still got the light-hearted, cosy mystery, but you've also got the tension within the group. Um, similarly with other Enid Blyton stories in... Uh, Five Children and It. Uh, there is the Samiad providing the wishes, but more adolescent wishes rather than the childish joy. How their needs would waver between childhood and what they see as adulthood. And thinking about my thoughts, the things I'd like to see moved into young adult potentially aren't going to appeal 
to the core young adult market because it's more about the death of childhood naivety or innocence, depending on which way you spin it, and the injection of realism. And young adult, at least from the subset I've taken, is more about hyper-focus. It encapsulates the way that, to the young adult mind, things are either of immense significance or they don't matter. It's sort of a black and white focal thing. Do you get to this party or not? Is this person going to ask you to the dance? Will you be the one in 10 16 year olds who are hurled into the pit of Moloch as a sacrifice to him to drive back the utter dark? Can you survive this dystopian world? At middle grade, it's very much not dystopian. So I don't know if great middle grade could become great young adult because there would be this fracture between the world being fundamentally a happy place and the world fundamentally being out to destroy your deepest darkest desires and the different deepest darkest desires you had last month. So I don't know, maybe I'd like to not see any middle grade series get a young adult sequel. Maybe a gentle transition like the one in the Harry Potter series where each book is a slightly older Harry would work. But is Harry Potter really young adult or not? Opinions differ. I don't know. It's a tricky question, this one. But thinking about it, it's been fun for me and uh, I hope my blathering and rambling has made you think or at least entertained you. So, uh, toodaloo!